days of the boring mall food court are ending. The days of the cool curated food hall are just beginning. And a prime example is Worcester Public Market. Worcester Public Market is this incredible food hall. It's just 12 countries, 15 restaurants, a brewery, all this under one roof right here at Kelly Square in beautiful Worcester. It's a monument to the diversity of the city and central Massachusetts. This food hall is just so much fun. I mean, it's loud and you got music and 12 different countries worth of food, the high ceilings, the natural light coming in, all sorts of interesting art. This place has live music every weekend. I mean, back in my day, food courts did not have live music. Here, they have a craft beer hall. They actually encourage you here to bring your food to this super cool bar. It looks kind of like a Worcester dining car. And you can get a beer, or even better, a flight of beers. Our Tuesday Brew Yard, they opened up this satellite location here at Worcester Public Market. And they've got a selection of brews that are fantastic. If you're going out with a whole bunch of friends, I guarantee you everybody will find something here that they like. And if you have a friend that can't find something that he likes, you need to defriend that guy. Everybody piles in here together. They split up, grab their own food, and get back to the table. And the social aspect of it is intact because you get to sit and eat with the people you want to be with. But everybody's got their own dish. It's awesome. I think Pasta Monte might be the best place here. They make the pasta fresh every morning. Owner Jay Midwood is a madman. He changes the menu every week. Then he hand scribbles it, puts it on Instagram, bang, new menu. I am extruding our spaghetti for our signature menu item, which is called long ass spaghetti, but loads of garlic, red sauce, and whipped ricotta. People usually cut spaghetti about 14 inches. We are gonna cut our spaghetti about two feet long. Everybody loves it. They call this their long ass pasta. It's two feet long. I measured it just to make sure that's a long pasta. Venice Fouchard owns One Love Cafe, bringing a taste of the Caribbean to the woo, including this delicious dish right here. This is Jamaican jerk chicken with rice, fried plantains, and a mango salsa. Her jerk chicken, spicy, terrific. You can smell it all the way through the market, and people are walking around. Where's that smell coming from? If you want something sweet, she has this beautiful display of cakes. I dare you to walk by and not want one. And I recommend getting with that this watermelon water. That's right, it's just watermelon and water, but it goes perfect with this Caribbean cuisine. These are dumplings by Momo Palace. These are from Nepal. And you can tell what's in them by the shape of the dumpling. This is vegetable, this is chicken, and this is pork. You can either get it deep fried or steamed. And he does incredible soups. And he dumps the Momo right in with it. It's really, really nice and tasty and healthy. These are tornado fries. I always assume this came from a carnival, not Nepal. But this is a fried potato with a spicy mayo. If it's fried and on a stick with sauce, count me in. The best name of any place here is definitely Namaste Wu. This is Indian food. Let me start with some of the basics. This is a garlic naan. It's cooked in the clay oven and it is a delicious, delicious bread. Basmati rice is a white rice, super flavorful, super aromatic. I think it's the best rice in the world. This is a chicken tikka masala. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. There's so many different levels of spiciness. So as chefs, you'll make it as spicy as you want or not spicy if you don't want it. That's what I think is so great about Namaste Wu. New England Burger Bar. They pay homage to the seven hills in the city of Worcester. And their Black Angus Steak Burger. Juicy, not drippy, juicy, and the recipes are fantastic. This one is the Green Hill. It's got their famous Burger Bar sauce, tomatoes, lettuce, the burger patty, pickles, all on a toasted roll. It's fantastic. The Grafton Hill is just, you've got coleslaw, bacon, barbecue sauce, crispy onion, and that Angus beef all the way in between at that. It's just fantastic. And I grew up on Grafton Hill in a three-decker, so it's nostalgic for me too. Sabrosa Venezuela is maybe the most flavorful of all the foods here. This is authentic Venezuelan food. Sabrosa Venezuela, that's owned by Isabel. She's right from Venezuela. She makes terrific flan, about yay tall, caramelized on top. She just has everything under the sun. My favorite is the cachapa. This is a sweet corn, gigantic pancake, and it is just jammed with pork and cheese. If you've never tried this, you have to try it. When you have Venezuelan cuisine, you should have something that's authentic to the heritage and the culture. I predict we're heading into the golden age of the food hall. And if you want to try one of the best in the country, head to the Woo to Worcester Public Market.